Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card uh, is dancing, so going out there and getting having some fun. So you need to let your hair down. Maybe you're uh, getting an invitation. This could be an offer coming in for you. Um, you need to go out there and have a little bit of fun. You got the fishing card over here, so that looks like uh, there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. Uh, it's a change in the situation, so uh, there's a lot of abundance coming in over here because you can see there's a lot of fish. You know, um, in the uh, Lenormand deck, uh, the fish is about money, so this could be a lot of wealth coming in over here, something coming in in uh, abundance. Uh, and you know, in the tarot, the fish is about emotions, so there could be a lot of emotional happiness coming in. But either way, there's a lot of abundance coming in for you, and you know. Uh, you're going to be celebrating. You've got that dancing card over here. It's a 10. So there's an end of an old difficult cycle over there. And, you know, the 10, uh, the dancing card is almost a, a celebration. So there's some kind of good fortune coming in. It's coming in abundance. You've got the masquerade over here. So just watch out for people deceiving you. Don't trust everybody else. Uh, don't follow the crowd. Uh, do your own thing, really. And watch out for people, you know, hiding behind masks. So people pretending to be your friend and they're not. So be careful who you trust or give information, a sense of information to. You've got the art card over here, so you've been seeing things outside the box, seeing things from a very, very different perspective, uh, you know, using uh, your um, your creativity to actually view things. And that's, you know, the genius of it, uh, that you've been pre presenting this kind of ideals to the world, and that's how, uh, you know, uh, you are getting the success coming in. You've got the tavern card over here, and this is also about, uh, you know, maybe you've been uh, socializing quite a bit, making a lot more contacts and friends, uh, you know, meeting a lot of people with the tavern card. Maybe you're also drinking a bit too much, so just watch out if you're over-consuming there. Uh, going to the future, you've got flying over there, so this is also getting over uh, difficulties, taking that leap of faith, uh, you know, taking that chance and doing something uh, that's um, outside the box, something that you've never done before with this flying card. Uh, and you've got uh, the feline cards over here. So this is about independence, trusting your intuition, and knowing that, uh, you know, you've got this big hat on this man so he's got a lot of um you're thinking about a lot of things there's a lot of enlightenment coming in over here but you also you know uh, and you're acting independently of everybody else but there's a lot of intuition as well that you are using with this um um feline card so whatever you're doing trust yourself you've got what it takes and take that leap of faith uh, because it looks like, you know, it's going to bring in a lot of success. So there's a lot of abundance coming in for you over here and a lot of socialization uh, or socializing rather uh, with a lot of people as well, making new friends. But just be careful who you trust. And if there's some situation come that comes in for you to take a chance, it's it's necessary for you to take a, that, that chance. Trust yourself and take that chance. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Gay Tarot, and I put the deck in the description box. So the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups over here. So you look it looks like you're doing a lot of self-review, uh, self-reflection, uh, you know, looking at yourself in a different light uh, from a different aspect as well. So you're, you're doing a lot of thinking. Maybe you're spending a lot of time by yourself as well, uh, you know, doing some self-discovery, finding your strengths, uh, looking into your, um, your life and reviewing uh, everything. So, you know, you are doing some soul searching as well here with this Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups, they say, is meeting a, a new person or a, a new, bringing in a new relationship. And that could well be the case that, you know, a soulmate uh, connection comes in. But this looks like you're more in touch, getting in touch with yourself uh, and, uh, you know, getting to grips with who you are, building your self-confidence. 
Now you've got a lot of aces in this particular spread that I can see. So this is the first ace and this is the ace of wands. So you're in the phase of uh, you know the magician. Now you've ended off some kind of relationship or some maybe you ended up a job ended up an old job because um, you've got the ten of coins and that's usually the end of a cycle and usually the end of a work cycle maybe you worked for a lot of people and now you're starting a brand new project where you'll be working for yourself uh, or you could even be manifesting something a brand new relationship having ended an old relationship so this could have been a, a relationship uh, in which you were financially bound to this person but that has now come to an end and you're starting something brand new it could even be a you know brand new sexual relationship that you're starting but uh uh, it is something brand new that you're going to be starting that brings in a lot of change uh, into your life and you are beginning to manifest that right now. So in the past, you've got the Four of Cups over here. So some kind of new offer came in of uh, where you had, you know, the choice was made. Uh, you had to pick this particular offer. Maybe not, you didn't particularly like it, but it's something that was get you, getting you up that career ladder, getting you towards success. You might have come in up against a lot of other competition, but it seems like you know this offer was made specifically to you, and it looks like you have taken that offer because you've got that Ace of Cups. It was a brand new beginning, so something new came in. Now, if this was a... Um, a relationship offer it looks like that person had a choice and they may have chosen you and this started off a new relationship but something brand new that has brought you a lot of emotional happiness and success that has come in the last uh, few months now what's in your mind you've got the four of wands over here so this is a teamwork card building uh, you know structures with somebody so you're working together in a team with somebody so uh, you know you are focused on that work over here and you are um, you know going to be working with a lot of people a lot of other people that you will collaborate and it will be successful as well you've got the three of coins over here so the focus is on work uh, you know and um, you know projects and starting something new uh, and uh, you know going up the career ladder so this is you know rising up that career ladder and reaching the top uh, and that is where your focus is going to be so it seems like you uh, you know from from the way it's looking it's like a work spirit almost uh, where you got given an offer and it's you know it was an offer there might have been some learning as well involved in that offer uh, but now there's this new project that comes in and end of an old job that you were doing and this is allows you to focus climb up that uh, you know ladder of success so there might be some promotion coming in that allows you to get to the top but also this is a card of collaboration with a lot of people uh, you know working together as a team and you've got that four of ones where you're working together as a team now um what's on your mind or what's uh, going on with you you are still feeling confused depressed uh you know maybe you're feeling a bit anxious about whatever's happening and you know maybe there's there's confidence issue going on as well this is an end of an old cycle so all that negative thoughts you need to put behind you uh, things are going to start being revealed maybe there are things that are still hidden from you but things are going to be uh, revealed to you if this is a relationship uh, uh, spread if this is all about uh, you being involved in a relationship and working on that relationship uh, you know this is about uh, things not you know there are hidden enemies working uh, around you or people not being very truthful and honest with you and maybe you are um, you know feeling a bit um, you know um, suspect of the people that you work with you don't trust them as well so there are some trust issues also that are going on with this moon card so it's also it's, it's advising you really to be careful of who you trust and who be careful of who um, you know you uh, form friendships with you know be careful of who your bed fellow, fellows are because they could be the people that stab you in the back really that's what the moon card really says um, so just be aware that there are hidden enemies um, and it's also seeing, uh, you know, um, the situation of worse than what it really is. So maybe it's not as bad as you think it is, whatever is going on. So, uh, you know, the, the moon card also carries that element of depression, a bit of confusion as well, uh, a bit of negativity as well because there's not a lot of truth that has been revealed but this cycle is ending and you can see there's an old the moon is going off uh, that cycle is ending and you can see with the ten of wands as well that cycle of of problems and hardship and issues that you are facing uh, is now coming to an end because you've got that ten of wands and you're moving away from it you have somebody around you that's very very faithful some communication some news coming in from this person but it looks like your path is open the road is open and you are turning your back on anything that is being negative anything that has weighed you you down you are dumping those things and moving forward you want uh 
things to change. You've got the wheel of life over here and your hopes and fears. Maybe you want to get into a situation where you do meet a lot more people there. And maybe you do want travel and communication to come in. You certainly want the dark clouds behind you and, uh, you know, you want to move forward. And maybe you feel a little bit that time is running out as well with this wheel of fortune. So you've got the six of coins over here, the ace of swords and the youth of coins. Now, the six of coins is, uh, you know, this is about generosity. So, um, you know, people giving you a loan or you giving somebody money. You could be borrowing money. You could be even getting some money coming in. So the six of coins is being given money in some form or the other. This person has gone to the bank to ask for a loan or ask for money, uh, you know, or even withdrawing their own funds. So it looks like there is some kind of financial issue that you're dealing with, and it looks like there is money coming in. So if you need financial aid in, in any kind of way, it's coming in. And if you're starting a new job, it looks like there's going to be extra money that comes in for you as well. You've got the Ace of Swords over here, so some kind of legal news. This is also uh, coming up with a new strategy as well on how to deal th with things. And this is also cutting out the past that is not serving you as well. And it looks like, uh, you know, you might get some kind of legal payment or settlement because following that is the Youth of Coins. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is working very, very hard, working on two jobs or two projects, multitasking, but also being on top of things. And uh, with the Ace of Swords, there could be some legal news or some kind of of legal settlement coming in where money comes in as well so some kind of payoff coming in and you know you've got the six of coins where money is coming in then you get this ace of swords which is about legalities and working with official news or working with some kind of settlement some kind of decision being made and you being victorious in that decision and uh, you've got that youth of coins so this is about money as well that's going to allow you to be independent give you that um you know you're going to look um uh, you know, be better financially off than what you were in the past. So, you know, um, uh, people admiring you as well for your financial success. But also maybe you'll be, you know, you're working to two projects at the same times, but also showing people your strength. So it looks like, you know, you're building money foundations as well. So it looks like there's some kind of payoff that comes off, some kind of payoff coming in to make you more financially secure and give you more security financially. You certainly are working uh, very hard in your job and getting up to the top. So there could be a promotion that is coming in for you as far as the work front goes. There's definitely an end of an old um, difficult financial situation with this 10 of coins as well it's about financial payoff so it looks like you are getting some kind of money coming in uh, some kind of financial payoff coming in so you've got the sun card over here and this says happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself so you are going to be very successful and yet again this is talking about a happy outcome a positive outcome and this is about uh, you know uh, success and money coming in as well and it's coming after hard work. You've got the nine of fire over here, so don't give up. Protect what you have created. Have the courage and believe in yourself. So really a card about watching your back. Watch out uh, for any kind of problems or issues. You are going to be able to sort through them uh, and uh, make sure that you're standing your ground. And don't give up. And, going, and the last card is uh, the four of fire, which is about strong, firm foundations, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, successful completion of a project. So you are hoping to successfully complete a project with the four of wands. Whatever you're working with, you've got it twice here. It looks like it's going to be successful, whatever you're doing. And it's going to bring in a lot of money. So there could be a promotion that comes in due to the success of this particular project. You know, because you've been collaborating with people and working very, very hard, it looks like there's going to be financial success. You've got that Ace of Sword, which is talking about success as well. And like I said, there is probably a payout coming, some kind of money coming in. Uh, but just, you know, watch yourself uh, and um, be vigilant. Uh, don't allow people to take advantage of you. The Ten of cup, um, Coins is also about a payoff coming. And it could also be a promotion coming in as well. So, uh, you know, it looks like there's some success coming in for you. And in the previous energy read, read, it did speak about success. So it looks like success is coming your way. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.